Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a quick check of your forecast. The good news at this time is that we have had no severe weather in the Mid-South whatsoever. Again, here's keeping our fingers crossed for the time being to see that that keeps on going. But as of right now, we could be seeing again the potential for some more storms out there as we go into the rest of the evening hours. Again, no damage, a little bit of rainfall heavy across the area. Could be some wet roadways and some sloppy travel for tonight, so a little bit of extra time to get to where you're going would not be such a bad idea. And of course, if you've got storm reports out there, National Weather Service first, and then you can email them here and we'll get them on the air a little bit later on. But again, if you are going to be traveling this evening, a lot of extra time to get to where you're going just to be on the safe side. New tornado watch just southeast of us. Not much of anything else going on at this time. So again, good news on that. But we're going to continue to monitor this throughout the rest of the evening. Hopefully no new watches taking place between now and midnight, but we still have that threat of severe weather. We're waiting for the update from the Storm Prediction Center, and it looks like we may have just gotten it a few seconds ago. So I'm going to reshuffle the deck here. And then hopefully we'll get a better view of the new, uh, hopefully, of severe weather, which is starting to kind of recede from the Mid-South area, but it still does have that potential for later on tonight. Drop your locations and your weather reports in the comments section. Uh, Stephen Davis, lightning, heavy rain in Horn Lake. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report there. Anybody else got any rain gauge reports or temperatures out there, please, again, uh, drop them in, and we'll see if we can read those off as we go along. Rest of the evening, again, temperatures cooling off slowly as we get into early tomorrow morning around daybreak. There still could be some random thunderstorms around, but most of the thunderstorms should be gone, and we may catch a brief break between showers and maybe, again, some more rainfall by later on on Sunday. If you haven't heard yet and you're a golf fan, the Masters tournament will be shown earlier tomorrow morning because they're expecting some of our weather that we're getting here today and tonight near the Masters golf tournament tomorrow. So the Masters will show on CBS at approximately 8 o'clock tomorrow morning if you're going to be watching out for that. So please keep that in mind if you're a golf fan and going to be watching that there. Transmitter tower camera, I-40 between Whitten Road and around Appling, back toward Germantown. Heavy rainfall, winds gusting around a little bit. Traffic on I-40 is moving at this time in all directions pretty well, but it's slower thanks to getting part of that rainfall and the spray out there. I-40, I-55 junction in West Memphis, Arkansas, slow but moving again with some decent visibility problems and over two and a third inches at the West Memphis airport and even more than that across much of the rest of the area for tonight. So there could be again seeing the possibility of some stronger weather out there, heavy rain at times, Maybe even some flash flooding going on. No reports of that for right now, except for one minor area. We'll bring that to you in just a little bit. Shelby County and the Memphis metro area covered over by rainfall on Storm Tracker 3S radar. Keep in mind that if you're watching this at a different time this evening, again, we're recording and netcasting here at just about a little bit past 8 o'clock. If you're watching this at, say, uh, 8.45, 9.30, Tune into News Channel 3 if we've got severe weather going on then. Or, again, find out more weather information out there by staying tuned to the National Weather Service. Again, uh, on social media, these events can pop up at various points in time. So make certain you check out the time frame first to make certain that you are up to date on the latest weather information. If you're watching this later on uh, during the evening hours, maybe several hours outdated. So please keep that in mind. Also have multiple ways to get your warnings. Again, don't rely on tornado sirens only to keep your severe weather coverage going on. Storm system on its way through the areas around the Red River into Oklahoma and Texas. That's the main spin of the storm system, the main energy making its way through the south central United States. In front of that, that's where we're getting the really heavy activity, and that's also where we're seeing the severe weather at this time. Now, new tornado watch was issued just about an hour or so ago for northeast Mississippi. That does uh, affect the area in and around Tupelo, back down through around Pontotoc, Union, Lee, Prentice counties in Mississippi, and the other tornado watch that was issued several hours ago, that one remains in effect until 9 o'clock tonight. 
may be a replacement uh, for that particular watch, but if that is not reissued, we may see some calming down of the activity in the next couple of hours, so we'll see how that goes. But either way, the most important thing about this is no watches throughout the entire evening for the Mid-South area, so that's really good news in and of itself. So very much on the quiet side, wet, stormy, no question about that, but once again, there's no severe weather taking place, and here's hoping it stays that way. Never root for the severe weather, but again, that's what we've got plenty of for this time around. Showers and thunderstorms, again, all over the Mid-South area. If you haven't gotten the rainfall by now, consider yourself lucky, but there's tons of rainfall out there, and we'll continue to see uh, more of that into the area for right now. It's a good possibility that if you have any interest near the Mississippi River, we're going to be seeing that level rise over the next few days as all that rainfall drains into the channel, so we could see some river levels heading back upwards again instead of downwards as they have been trending downwards for the last couple of days. So we'll see how that goes. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest. Uh, round robin across the area real quick. We're going to kind of skip around here tonight, not doing our normal routine because of just everything going on. Northeast Arkansas, I-55 here. Back toward Jonesboro, Truman, Cherry Valley, Wynn, I-40 at the bottom of your screen. Rain mixed with thunderstorms here. And a lot more of that down into around southeastern Arkansas, Forest City, Brinkley, Mariana. A lot of lightning and thunder around Helena, West Helena earlier tonight. And moving on up to the north and northeast at about... 50 miles per hour. These storms are really rocketing on through parts of the Mid-South. Heaviest rainfall in northern Mississippi, Mississippi River right on in through here, and Memphis and Shelby County at the top portion of your screen, I-55 right there. Senatobia reporting over two inches of rainfall, and the fire department in Senatobia reporting some street flooding going on. Probably a lot more than that across the rest of the Mid-South, so please use caution overnight. When it's dark, it's difficult to see those floodwaters out there. Remember, turn around, don't drown. Find another way to get to where you're going for this evening. Random lightning strikes out there. I'm going to continue to see more rumbles of thunder, but so far not a lot going on at this point, and that's, again, good news to tell everybody about. West Tennessee, I-40, Jackson, Tennessee, Brownsville, Dyersburg up here at the top of your screen, Covington, Millington, Oakland, and Bolivar for some benchmarks out there. We would love to bring you uh, all the information we can about your particular location. However, if we were to do a point-by-point-by-point point point forecast for everybody, this netcast would wind up being several hours long. So we just have to give you kind of a generic idea as to what's going on. No, we're not trying to ignore you at your location. We're just trying to give you a generic idea so for everybody to see what's going on in the Mid-South area. Because, again, we'd love to list as much as we can your particular location, but we really can't do that for time's sake out there. Otherwise, no one would get anything out of this. So for right now, again, random thunderstorms drifting on through here. Humboldt, a little bit noisier for right now, and plenty of rainfall across all of West Tennessee at this time. And going to continue to see a lot of that throughout the course of the rest of the evening. More thunderstorms south of Oxford in northern Mississippi down toward Louisville, south of Clarksdale. So we'll see more of these rumbles of thunder heading northward and going to continue again to see that possibility of more areas of thunderstorms out there for right now at this time. Uh, Brandy Merriman, tornado threat gone. Not entirely. We'll take a look at that uh, forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Thank you very much. Uh, for that one, Andre Johnson the third will it rain tomorrow morning? We'll take a look at that in the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Thunder and lightning at the Tennessee River in Savannah. Colleen Lovelace Webb, thank you very much uh, for that one. Catherine Jones Mitchell, raining in Blytheville, thank you very much uh, for that one as well. Uh, checking in again for watches and warnings. Flash flood watch in central Arkansas issued by National Weather Service Little Rock. Nothing in effect for the Mid-South this time where it comes to flooding, but if that happens, we'll let you know about it on social media. We still have a wind advisory in effect for the metro area and the rest of the Mid-South. It's a little windy out there. Winds could be gusting around 40 miles per hour throughout the rest of the evening. That'll be in effect until tomorrow morning at 1 o'clock, so continuing to see some pretty breezy conditions out there. Over three inches of rainfall in Tunica at the airport. A lot of this has come down within just the last couple of hours or so, so very heavy rain 
And again, that's going to cause some decent runoff out there. Two inches plus, St. Francis on Germantown Parkway in Cordova. North Point Christian School in South Haven, just shy of two and a half inches. All in the metro area, picking up again one to three inches of rainfall here. Lee County School District, you had about three inches from earlier today before the clock reset about six o'clock, and numbers filled back up again very quickly with nearly three inches of rainfall again on WeatherNet 3. So quite a lot out there and even more coming down throughout the rest of the evening. Now the storm system coming on through will be giving us again the potential for rainfall uh, into and around the area through the rest of tonight and into very early tomorrow. Again, the best news at this time is it looks like most of the threat is going to be down to our south and east Hoping it stays that way, but we'll be watching that carefully throughout the rest of the evening, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest on that. Through tomorrow morning, again, early on Sunday, more chances of showers and thunderstorms will exist in the Mid-South into early Sunday morning. And then most of that should be creeping its way on out of here as we go past the Tennessee River into about early morning between midnight and dawn patrol Sunday. By daybreak, we could catch a little bit of a break from the rainfall before more rain wraps around the backside of this area of low pressure. Does a very good job of working its way back around that low. And then that's what we're going to get hit with tomorrow is even more rainfall. Not as much as today. But once again, the possibility of some showers will stick around through Sunday afternoon. And then drier air starts to cut through on that. And we'll see the end of the rainfall coming up as we go into Sunday evening. So not quite done with the rain for the weekend itself, but at least hopefully tomorrow it will dry out by just a little bit in there. All right, severe weather chances for tonight. Brand new forecast available from uh, the Storm Prediction Center. That should be Saturday, getting the computer getting ahead of itself right there. Uh, the severe weather threat has been reduced greatly. There was a moderate threat of severe weather. That is now gone. The severe weather threat for a slight risk category has been pushed down to the south. So for right now, the main threat at this point in time is going to be again into and around uh, Lafayette County in Mississippi and into and around northern Mississippi where we see the heaviest potential going on here. Marginal threat still remains up until about, this is in effect until about roughly midnight or so, and this was just issued a few minutes ago, so this is brand new information. These are the, uh, the, uh, the information that we give you coming in from the Storm Prediction Center. We don't issue these. We get these from the Storm Prediction Center, pass them along to you, so you can see what the potential is of anything involving severe weather out there. So for right now, the threat appears to be diminishing. Not all the way, but at least it's less than what it was. That's good news, number one. And number two, the good news is it's focusing away from the area once again. So we're looking at a downturn in the forecast when it comes to severe weather. But for the next few hours, at least, we do still have that potential of gusty winds, large hail, and the possibility of isolated tornadoes. And again, most of that should be in northern Mississippi, right around where that tornado watch was issued. We'll show you that again if you just tuned in, so stay tuned for more on that. Through tomorrow, across much of the area tomorrow, we'll see the threat heading back over to around uh, portions of Atlanta, east of Huntsville, Knoxville, into around Johnson City, the Carolinas, and upwards of the Appalachians should be, again, some uh, possibility, some dicey traveling there. My son doing a presentation at NASA Huntsville tonight as... Uh, part of an ETSU student delegation there for this evening. Hopefully he gets back to Johnson City okay because we'll be looking for showers and thunderstorms out there for right now. I'm looking again at the possibility of uh, heavy rain and some low visibility, so it could impede some travel out there. But then after that, everything calms down at least for a little bit. For the rest of the forecast, it may not stay that way. Palm Sunday tomorrow it's going to be on the cool side, not quite as warm as today, even mid to upper 50s, as that colder air wraps around the backside of that storm system. So outdoor Palm Sunday services from some of the churches around here that have them, it doesn't look like good outdoor weather to start off with that. There could even be some rumbles of thunder right around sunrise, but that's going to be about it. Tax day on Monday, we see, again, temperatures pushing 70 degrees, and again, chances of showers and thunderstorms gone from the forecast, so at least you won't have that to worry about if you're taking the old-fashioned route and dropping your 1040s into the mailbox on Monday. Tuesday, lots of sunshine drying out a little bit, temperatures back in the mid-70s, so pleasant start to the beginning portion of this week. And through the rest of the week, starting to see more chances of showers and thunderstorms. Maundy Thursday and Good Friday, temperatures cooling off a little bit. 
and then also chances of showers and thunderstorms. And there are signs that we may be looking at the potential for, again, uh, maybe some severe weather coming up Wednesday night into Thursday. So we'll be watching that carefully. No forecast just yet, but there are signs out there that that could be happening. Easter Sunday, next Easter, lots of churches out there having outdoor sunrise services. And the good news at this time, it's going to be mostly clear for Easter Sunday, looking very good. But it is going to be a little chilly. Temperatures possibly in the upper 40s around Easter Sunday morning. And then for Earth Day, looking very nice. Plenty of sunshine, no rainfall being seen next Monday. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 70s. So lots of events coming up this week. Not great for outdoor activities for everybody out there. So not really seeing a good possibility, but at least we'll dry out a little bit anyway. For those of you who are uh, putting into the comments section, you're looking for dry weather. I sympathize. We're doing our best to get all this out of here if at all possible. But again, right now, chances of rain sticking around. We'll be getting into those summer doldrums where it's nothing but heat and humidity through about November. So we're almost to that summer phase, so hopefully it'll dry out a little bit. Sign up for Weather Call. Tim and Jim will call you when severe weather threatens. If you'd like to know more about the program or how you can sign up for it, wreg.com and click on Weather, and then click on the Weather Call tab for more information on that. Let me switch back here for just a little bit and run back through everything so that everybody knows a little bit more. If you're just joining us and finding out more about what's going on, again, a new tornado watch has been issued just southeast of the News Channel 3 viewing area. No counties in either of these watches going on that have been issued are parts of the News Channel 3 viewing area. Now, down toward Tupelo, around Winona, down toward around Jackson, that's where the tornado activity is expected to be. But we're going to continue to monitor throughout the rest of the evening, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. Storm Tracker 3S radar against Shelby County and the Memphis metro area. Here's the loop right there, I-40 through about Arlington, and then 385 past Germantown and Collierville in the lower portion of your screen. Shelby County and the Memphis metro area covered over by rainfall and thunderstorms at this time. This whole storm system is again moving in from the west triggering these thunderstorms here in the mid-Mississippi Valley down toward the Gulf Coast. But it's going to be south of us where, again, that threat of severe weather is going to be greatest. So that's where we're going to hope everything stays for tonight. In the meantime, the entire Mid-South seeing scattered showers and thunderstorms out there. And we'll continue to see more of that throughout the course of the evening. So, again, more chances of severe weather. Not great, but still possible. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Speaking of which, again, the latest severe weather update from the Storm Prediction Center reduces the chances. We did see a moderate threat earlier. It is now reduced to an enhanced threat. And again, into around portions of the Mid-South area, things are much quieter. As we look back our direction, the slight risk is now confined to northern Mississippi and around the metro area, a lesser marginal threat for now. So hopefully that trend continues working its way out of the area. We've had heavy rain, Possibility some flash flooding out there, and we'll continue to see that throughout the rest of the area. So if you are going to be driving tonight, again, that is going to be a bit of a potential problem. And looking out from our transmitter tower camera, again, soggy lens and seeing slow traffic on I-40 at this time around Appling, Germantown Road, heading back toward Witten Road. It's going to take you a lot longer to get to where you're going tonight if you want to be safe. So allow for some extra time and slow it down out there to make certain you're not rushing through on some of these wet streets across the area. Rest of the Mid-South, again, we'll keep up to date on what's going on with weather throughout the rest of the evening, so stay tuned for more there. We'll have a complete forecast update coming up on News Channel 3 at 10, so definitely want to stick around for more on that. And Todd Demers has more details on the forecast coming up tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of your forecast. This is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us tonight. Stay safe if you're traveling across the Mid-South tonight, and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest on severe weather coverage, if it becomes necessary. Have a good evening, and stay safe out there.